Show. I'm your co-host, Tammy Sue Baker. Today's special guest, Pastor Mark Bill. Now please give a warm welcome to my dad and the host of the Jim Baker Show, Jim Baker. <laughs> Thank you, everybody. Welcome to Gray Street. So grateful that you're here with us today. And my dear friend Mark Biltz is back. If you're going to miss a show, don't miss today's. That's right. Yeah. Sit down, put the towels away, just, you know, <laughs> or you could fold them right there. Why, if you could fold your ironing and all. But watch this program because I believe it's one of the most important shows that we've ever, ever produced. And uh, Mark, this book you've written, we're going to talk about it as we go along. And it's called God's Daytimer. That's kind of unusual title, but I like it. <laughs> and I like your book, by the way. Well, thank you. And um, I stopped endorsing books six months or a year ago. Yes, we said absolutely no more books. Because <laughs> we lost our shirt on books. That's pretty, pretty wild. <laughs> but, you, you know, you, we buy them ahead of time usually, and then if they don't sell, and ever since, we've been selling more books than any in ministry in, yeah. in, in America. That's right. Isn't that crazy? More books than we've ever sold. And you've been ordering them. People have been ordering them. But this is an unusual book. It's, it opens up, are you ready to go on the most thrilling adventure of your life? <laughs> yes, that's good. To me, there is nothing more exciting than a treasure hunt, and we're about to embark on one. And we're going to do that on this program today. This book is so important. Again, it's a now book. That's it. This is where we are now. This is where we learn from God's Word all the great holy days that are in the Word. And when they come... It's time to keep looking up. Amen? Amen. This is so important. And uh, I just, I know people want to know where Lori is, so I better, because yes. when I don't say if she's not on the show that day, and she doesn't miss many shows. No, she doesn't. But uh, Grandma Shar is uh, in the hospital, has been in the hospital for several weeks now. Yes. And uh, she's really been at death's door for the last couple of weeks and her family Mark who works here and and Lori and uh, her brother Scott Scott came in from Washington DC and 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 I've been there some yes. and literally at times we we you know some guys want to yell at their mother-in-laws <laughs> but I got the best mother-in-law in the world absolutely yeah. there she is. and there she is but we literally had to yell at her for several days. Every few seconds, Mondo, we had to yell to breathe. Yes. Because if she stopped breathing, she was, she was ready. To, they were ready to call cold blue. They told us that they, they had to do it. And, and they said the only way is if, she can, if she'll breathe. But she can't, she's, if she goes to sleep, she won't wake up. And Lori's been up to the hospital with her mother as much as possible. Mm -hmm. And there's so much else on our plate. And so this morning, uh, when she woke up, well, she didn't wake up. <laughs> and she, she is still sleeping. Exhausted. And I told her she had to stay home. Yeah. And she always says, no, <laughs> I can't stay home. I've got to be with you. And today, she just fell off to sleep. And she's so tired. Yeah. She can't wake up. I don't know if anybody's seen anybody like that. I've never seen anybody that tired. You know, Dad, and I but was you there, were just you were at the hospital with Grandma a few days ago, encouraging her, and it was so good to see Grandma Sharp. But you know what? A lot of you out there, you know what it is to keep people alive and to pray for your loved ones and take care of your loved ones and that's what we've been doing and we want to encourage you during this time to continue to do that we're praying for you i know she's coming back i know she's yes, going to she be is. back with us and and uh, 
that she's going to go well, through this more valley. Well, is to celebrate her 80th birthday here on yeah. the show and right. just honor her and oh. And we want wait. everybody to come and celebrate yes. her her 80th birthday with us. Absolutely. Wouldn't that be good? Wonderful. It's going to be a humdinger, and you got to sure sing is. on it. She want she wants you to oh, sing I've got at a her birthday party. a surprise for that day. You do? Oh yeah. Oh, that's oh, going to be You're invited. There. You're watching out there. You are invited to be here and celebrate <coughs> Grandma and just honor her. Oh, I can't yeah. wait. I can't wait. We've got so much to talk about today. Mark Biltz is here with us. He's the man who <laughs> discovered the blood moons, I guess. Yeah. And so much is going on. And what's happening in our presidency, what's happening in our country, we are in serious trouble. I believe America has got to stop mocking God. Yes. That's right. You have a president who wants to stop killing babies, but we want to kill him. Mm -hmm. That's what they do. That's what they're talking about in this country. Whoever heard of if destroying a president in his first week, his first day? Something's happening, Mark, in America. And there's so much confusion there's so much division, mm -hmm. and a house divided cannot stand, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and there's so much going on. You predicted that the blood moons were coming, and uh, I decided I wouldn't tell so much, but I'm Jim Baker, so I have to. A few days ago, I had a man come in my audience and sit right there. Mm. And in the middle of the program, and <clears throat> we were taping, I think, several shows that day. Yeah, we were. Yeah. And he started yelling at me, cursed me, told me I should be stoned to death. A man who was quoting scripture. Mm -hmm. This is what's crazy. Hey, we have most of America hating God, hating our president, wanting to destroy things, and... The church people fighting each other. Mm -hmm. That's right. Right. And one of the things he was accusing me is accused me of lying about blood moons. Well, the, I, <laughs> this man found him. I didn't. <laughs> and so I want I want to ask you, Mark, sure. before we get into this sure. your new book and all this stuff. How were the blood moons of 2014 and 2015 significant? What was the significance of them? And I know, and I've talked to the rabbi about it too, great things happened. And yet you got people who want to stand up and say, don't talk about the signs. Don't talk about these things. You know, <laughs> yeah. What's going on? What's going on? I mean, I got enough warfare without fighting church people. <laughs> well, uh, oh, that's good. a couple of things that I find very fascinating. First off, you remember it says as it was in the days of Noah and as it was in the days of Lot, so it will also be with the coming of the Son of Man. And if you go back and you read about Lot, it says when Lot was speaking about the, you know, the destruction coming, he was as one who mocked the exact oh. words. Mm -hmm. uh, and Lot represents the sleeping church. Mm. Abraham represents the church that's awake, that knew in advance, that's interceding, that's praying. Mm -hmm. And Lot was mocking. And so the interesting thing about Lot's name in the Hebrew, uh, when you look at the ancient picture language that Moses would have used, uh, is the first letter, the Lamed, represents authority. Uh, the next letter is the Vav, which means it's connecting something. And then the last letter, the Tet, is a serpent. So Lot is one who gave his authority over to the serpent. Mm. And, and mm. in one sense, wow. Lot, I believe, represents the sleeping church. And the Bible says in the last days there will be the tares and the wheat growing mm -hmm. together yes. until the time of the harvest. And then he says, grab the tares first and then the wheat and that uh you know i grew up in the wheat fields of kansas for 30 years and uh, one of the interesting things the way you know the difference between a tear and a wheat at harvest time the wheat is very heavy full of grain and it bows but the tares stand perpendicular proud and arrogant and they're easy to tell the difference between the two 
And as far as the blood moons, I mean, a lot of people, and first off, NASA was the first to discover the blood moons. Oh. Uh, NASA is uh, the, I mean, they said these are when the eclipses are going to occur. And all I had was facts saying, guess what? The connection is they're falling on the biblical holy days at a particular time. Yeah. That's the connection that I had made. And I like to stick with the facts. Now, a lot of people wrote books about my discovery, and they said a lot of things that I never said. And so I do want to clarify this. One of the things, if a bridge is out on the highway, do they put the sign bridges out where the bridge is out? Or do they put it a couple of miles ahead of time? So if you're driving 60, 70 miles an hour, it gives you time. Well, it's the same thing. Uh, the signs in the heavens of these blood moons, the greatest thing was it was to get the church back on the biblical calendar. Yes. To me, that is the significance because we have been on the wrong calendar. Mm -hmm. And so to me, that is the biggest sign. But aside from that, look at what's happened since then. Look at the chaos that the world has been in. You My have ISIS. God. You have the rise of ISIS. America has gone crazy. Yeah. We've sure. murdered 50 million babies and we're normal. Mm. Nor 50 million babies in America and we're normal. And, and we have women marching in the street to make sure they can keep the rights to kill babies. What is going on? That's another sign because during Moses' day, it was all about killing the babies. In Jesus' day, it was all about killing the babies. The whole concept was to get us on God's calendar. And now, and I was telling in the book how it really pointed to 2017, 2018, where we are now, because now we're celebrating the 50th anniversary of Jerusalem being reunified, the 70th anniversary of Israel becoming a nation. So I really believe that these signs are pointing to this year and next year. I wish people, I'm going to say this, I was going to wait a while into the show, but uh, it says in Genesis 1:14, God declares that he is creating the sun and the moon for signs and for seasons and for days and years. But the word signs is in there. The sun and the moon were created in the stars. And we're about to see the heavens declare. Well, Luke 21, 25, Jesus says there will be signs in the sun, the moon, and the stars. <laughs> and what do we have? We have solar eclipses, lunar eclipses, and the Revelation 12 sign in the heavens. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. The, the events that have happened since the blood moons, could we just kind of name some of them? Well, uh, you did have a war in Israel. Uh, during the uh, the month of Av. As a matter of fact, I flew all the way to Israel on the 9th of Av, Tisha B'Av, uh, with a group of pastors to comfort Israel during that time. Uh, but you saw a war in Israel. You see all these terrorist attacks. You see uh -huh. the rise of ISIS. Uh, you see uh, natural disasters, all kinds of things. But to me, the main thing of the blood moons was God wants his church to repent, just like you're talking about. What I thought was fascinating, I saw this in the news the other day. You can Google this. They say the exact path of the solar lunar eclipse, or solar eclipse, I mean, the, the exact path of the solar eclipse across the United States voted 95% for Trump. And the fascinating thing to me is God is not interested so much in the heathen to repent as much as he wants the church to repent. Okay, judgment always begins with the house of God. And uh, I believe God, it, it's a warning that, that we need to take the lead. As believers, God is telling us it starts first with us, and we need to repent. And it so uh, happens, uh, does anyone know when that eclipse is falling on the biblical calendar? This is why you need no. a day timer. You can only have a solar eclipse on a new moon, okay? And Israel was to base their calendar on the new moon. Well, it so happens we're about to enter the month of Elul, and the month of Elul is known as the month of repentance. It was on Elul 1 that Jonah left for 40 days to tell Nineveh to repent. 
It was on the little one that Moses went up to Mount Sinai after the sin of the golden calf trying to make atonement while Israel was repenting for that. It was on the little one that Jesus went into the wilderness for 40 days coming back out on Yom Kippur. A little one is the month of repentance. And to have this solar eclipse happening at this time, uh, it is huge significance, which we will get into more later. I can't wait. I want to know what do you think this means? This is strange. Well, I think it, basically it means that we as a church, we have 40 days to really repent. Just like, uh, you know, Abraham, he was interceding for Sodom and Gomorrah, uh, trying to find at least 10 righteous. I don't know how many righteous is needed for America, but I, I believe, and this is what uh, they're taught in Judaism from even 2,000 years ago. I have books from 2,000 years ago and what they taught. And they said because the, uh, the Gentiles go by the sun for their calendar, a solar eclipse represents judgment coming upon a nation. A lunar eclipse, because Israel goes by the moon, refers to judgment coming upon Israel. Okay, or to repent. You know, they need to repent. And so this, uh, one thing, uh, I'll go ahead and mention it now. Go, yeah, do. Uh, many people don't realize this, but World War I started in uh, August of 1914, and there was a total solar eclipse over Eastern Europe and the Ottoman Empire. And what happens? You have this total solar eclipse, beginning of World War I, and the Ottoman Empire is destroyed. It even went over Nineveh, the same place mm -hmm. as where Jonah was. And most wow. people don't even know the story of Jonah, except from the Bible. We read it, and we saw they repented. <laughs> Mm -hmm. But we don't know how God, and Jonah didn't know, which is why he fled, how God was preparing the ground before he went. Did you know there was a plague? This, they were found, these cuneiform tablets, uh, talking about the ancient uh, Assyrian history. And they said there was a major plague three years before Jonah came. That was followed by a civil war. Maybe they were blaming each other for the plague in Nineveh. That was followed by another plague. Then, and NASA records this, it's one of the most famous eclipses in all of history called the Bursagel Eclipse. It happened, a total solar eclipse over Nineveh a month before Jonah came. Jonah comes and he says, repent. Well, that's why they were so willing to repent. They've already suffered from a major plague, a civil war, another plague, a total solar eclipse over Nineveh. And then here comes Jonah saying, you better repent. Now, obviously, the solar eclipse, they didn't receive judgment because they repented. It didn't happen for a while. Mm -hmm. So just like I never set dates for anything, but what I do say is Look at the events that happen on God's calendar so you know if it's God who's speaking or not. And then hopefully we repent and judgment is stayed. But I believe judgment, because it's falling at a low one over, and this is the first time a solar eclipse has ever gone over the entire United States and nowhere else in over 100 years. The last one was World War I, and guess what? It World was on, War, it was World one. War I, and it was on August 21st, the same as this one. Wow. Wow. Don't go away. We'll be right back after this special message. Mom, Dad, we got the president of Augustine Farms here with us. How you doing, man? I'm doing fantastic, Mona. Please explain to us what do we have here? What we have here is what we started out with a normal everyday pancake mix, and we've been creative as can be with this. We've developed over 54 uh, recipes that we can take pancake mix and do great stuff like baked chicken. We can do chicken pot pie. We can do churros. We're doing a fruit streusel, cinnamon rolls. I'm talking muffins. I'm talking apple pie, corn dogs. We're having pizza crust, chocolate pancakes, as well as hush puppies, chocolate chip cookies, drop biscuits, cheese crackers, rolled biscuits. We even have a loaf of bread here made from pancake mix, amazing stuff. Funnel cakes, which we all love, as well as crackers. So, Mark, I want to make sure we understand. One bucket can make all this. Absolutely. One bucket can make that plus more. And when this offer, when they order this offer, they're going to receive a recipe book that you have put together, over 50 different recipes. And I'm sure we can come up with some different uh, other recipes as well. But just to explain to the people, what are they going to be expecting when they open this up? 
Look, they're going to open this thing up and they're going to say, I can't believe Pancake can do this much stuff. They're going to see breakfast items, they're going to see lunch items, dinner items, desserts, and snacks. So this is the first of many to come on the recipes from Augustin Farms that support products so we can be comfortable, have a sense of ease and comfort in our home as we sit down with our families and have a nice conversation. There you go. As well as a great meal to eat. Now, Jerry, you and Mark yes. have put together an offer that is unbelievable today. Explain to us what can they receive when they order this? Well, Mondo, when they get just one bucket, they start with 253 servings in this bucket. And we got one of them available for just $70. And that has made everything you see in front of our table here. And that's that, over 400 pancakes. That's over 400 pancakes that came right out of that, waffles, that bucket. The waffles are included, the pancakes. And, and even in the front, Mondo, there's chocolate flavored and chocolate Ooh. pancakes in front. So, you know, we wanted to show various things you can do with this batter just to get started in the morning. We, we put together a three bucket offer just in case people one and one to five was too many. So one is seventy dollars. Three is one hundred and ninety five dollars. So that breaks it down uh, f to just sixty five dollars each. And then we have a bundle. The year for you is five buckets, and that is for three hundred dollars. Okay. Now the the better of all of the above, the best of the best is the year for two. That's two years worth of pancakes. And that's pancakes that you can eat breakfast, lunch, and dinner, three servings a day. And that's just $550, which then 10, 10 buckets for $550 makes it just $55 a bucket. So you'll have a lot of pancakes. Mark, I believe people are going to be calling in, ordering from the website. Never before you guys have put a deal like this before. So why did you guys do this? because of the amazing partners of the Morningside Church and the sustainability of what this food's going to do for them. It's gonna put smiles on your faces on Saturday morning, Sunday morning, and it can save your life. That's the beauty of what we're doing here. I'm telling you, this is the way to go. Start here, we've made it simple, we've made it easy. You're just adding water and you're adding the rest of it. Just fun, you know, recipes and ideas and creations, make your own. Send us, make your own recipe. Send us one back. Let us know what we should add to this. Maybe next time. Absolutely. So go to the phones right now, 1-888-988-1588, or write us today at P.O. Box 7330, Branson, Missouri, 65615, or go to jimbakershow.com and order your products today. Call now, 1-888-988-1588. And you can write Pastor Jim at P.O. Box 7330, Branson, Missouri, 65615. Something's happening, people. Mm -hmm. I don't know when or what or how, but I'm telling you, these holy days are biblical days. They're God days. And as you look at the calendar, and I'm so thankful, we're going to have your calendar. This We have it right now for this coming year because... I learn more from the what I call the Jewish calendar. Sure. What's this? Is there I use the biblical calendar. The biblical calendar. God I, invented when it. I was in prison, I learned so much. And this, you have put one out like I found in prison. There are not very many around. And you're just filled with, in fact, in the back of the calendar, there's this major information about these holidays and holy days. Yes. And it, it's so important. Well, plus we have on the calendar linking it to like the 9th of Av. Uh, most people don't know about the 9th of Av. But the 9th of Av is so important. How could, you know, almost, it, it's like judgment, isn't it? Right, that's exactly it's, what it's, it is. It's, and the Jews were destroyed. They were kicked out of country after country on that day. Is that right? Well, it was on the 9th of Av that the spies, 10 spies brought the bad report. And so that day that's became, where it started. That's where it started. And so what happens, uh, Nebuchadnezzar destroyed the temple and burned it on the 9th of Av. Mm. And then in 70 AD, Rome destroys the temple on the 9th of Av. That's right. In 1290, all the Jews were kicked out of England on the 9th of Av. That's 1492, right. 1492, the Jews were kicked out of Spain on the 9th of Av. World that's War right. I began on the 9th of Av. Hitler's proclamation to kill the Jews was on the 9th of Av. But in Zechariah 8:19, it says that will turn from a fast day into a feast day. And if you don't know when it falls on our calendar, you'll never know that prophecy is fulfilled. This is why we have on our calendar special dates colored so you can go to the back and see historically what day that happened. We are in the last days. Oh, yeah. And, and uh, so much is going on. 
You know, do you know that most of the major department stores and stores in America are closing down? Within uh, a not too long period of time, over half of all the shopping malls mm -hmm. will be will be had. They have to re portion them or something, do something different to them because they're not working anymore. But things are changing. Yes. And I want people, this calendar. It's a commemorative calendar celebrating the 70th anniversary as well. So this is, this could be. Wait till you hear. This could be <laughs> the generation. Is it, do you think? Oh my is goodness. Is that what you're saying? Oh my goodness. Do you want me to go into that yet? I, I don't. Yes, I can. I'm sorry. I'm like a kid when you come. I just, I love this. I, and I, I love this. Yes. I found so much when I got on the right calendar. Mm -hmm. Well, Good. did you hear these dates, the 9th of August? Did you hear almost every major awful event of the world took place on a God day? Right. There's no accidents with God. It's why people better get right with God and we better get on tune with God. But, uh, Mondo, we, we put a package together of this since we knew that Mark Biltz was coming. But this calendar, all these, God never changes. And something He's the same yesterday, today, and forever. And these dates that he set are set. And yes. that's why it's important when people are mocking the blood moons. Some of you people better repent. And straighten out. Because when God says something, we ought to honor it as holy and honor God. Forgive me, I'm, I'm, I'm stirred up. I I've, love it. I I've love been, it. I've been through a lot lately. And I, people, unless we get where God is, we are in deep, deep trouble. Our country could have, right now, as we're taping this show, right now, at this very moment, North Korea has vowed a thousand-fold revenge on the United States of America. North Korea says under no circumstance it will it negotiate over nuclear weapons. Mm. And all these things, and we're going to take you, we're going to take you to what's going on at Yellowstone National Park. Yeah. 1,400 earthquakes now yeah. in the last few weeks. Somebody who I highly trust called me this morning and told me about what's happening at Yellowstone. The, the roads are heating up again. The, this, and these, all these earthquakes. And they, the experts are saying it could happen. Yeah. And if that happens, you know, we've, we've, we've talked and talked about it and is I was in prison and I studied and studied and I found that the sun and the moon and the stars are going to go dark is a sign before Jesus comes back. And nobody believes it. Mm -mm. You know why you don't believe it? Because you don't read the Bible. Mm -hmm. There's at least nine places that I know of for sure in the Bible that says the sun and the moon is going to go dark. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Am I crazy? Well, that's what the Bible says, uh, even in Joel, that uh, uh, the day of the Lord is a day of darkness, and then it says even thick darkness. That's right. Something's happening. Mm -hmm. Yes, and this is why we need to understand God's calendar, not only the, the dates, but also the times and seasons. You remember in Ecclesiastes 3, it talks about there's a time and a season for every purpose under heaven. Yeah. Do you remember that verse? Yeah. Well, the amazing thing is, God operates on his calendar. Now, the month of Heshvan, you have Tishri, which is when all the fall feasts are, trumpets, Yom Kippur, tabernacles. The next month is Heshvan, which is the month for rain. And so God, they, they would pray for rain during Tishri because they need the rain for good crops for the, you know, for the next spring, all right, for the winter crops. Well, do you know, according to God's calendar, it's in the month of Heshvan that Noah's reign came. It was on Heshvan 17. But look at church history. Do you know that in Heshvan, that's when Martin Luther, exactly 500 years ago, nailed the 95 Theses starting the Reformation. 
Wow. Also, in 1734, that's when Jonathan Edwards started his revival. Wow. It was in uh, October, Heshvan of 1735, John and Charles Wesley landed in America. It was in 1740 that George Whitefield preached for Jonathan Edwards, preaching to 20,000. This is in the month of rain. Mm -hmm. Let it rain. We, God says in Hosea 6.3, I will come to you like the rain. So you need to know when does the rain fall? It falls in Heshvan. This is why revivals take place in church history in the month of Heshvan. Mm -hmm. uh, you also see it was wow. in 1825 in Heshvan, George Mueller got saved. It was in October in Heshvan of 1830 that Charles Finney was at the peak of his ministry. It was in 1871 in Heshvan that D.L. Moody led the most powerful revival campaigns. It was in 1949 in Heshvan, October 24th, that Billy Graham started. So when you understand God's daytimer, you get the calendar, you know now exactly what God's purpose is for that month. That's wow. Right. Can, can I offer this right now because sure. I, I've been trying to s talk about it but when you get the calendar and I want to thank you for being a part of this calendar and, and yeah. helping well, thank put you. this thing together and get it and the thing is this will give you the Jewish calendar the words just as they're so you can when you see that month and in the Bible, you hear about it, but then you go to it, and then it will show you exactly what day on America's calendar that it takes place. Right. So you'll get back on God's calendar. Right. And you have to you have to know what both of them are at the same time. But this, and so we want to send you this new calendar for this. Starting this Rosh Hashanah for this right new now. year. Yes. So Coming right, up next month. God's year. Yes. <laughs> God's new year. And then we're going to send you this book, the brand new book you've just written, God's Daytimer. I just opened to page 7. In Daniel 7, 24, 25, we read about an evil one who would come and think to change the times and the laws. That's what has happened. The evil ones are here. They want to take the Bible out of school. They did that. They want to destroy all God things. They're taking the crosses even from churches. The Ten Commandments, which is God's word. What are they think? They say we're reading about the evil one who would come and think to change the times and the laws. And we've changed the biblical calendar to the pagan calendar. That's it. Mm -hmm. So we don't know what God is doing on his schedule. Mm -hmm. That's right. And so this is exactly what happened from either ignorance or anti-Semitism. The biblical timing of God's divine appointment has been changed, added to, removed, and placed on a pagan calendar that has no correlation to his. And then you talk about a perfect example as a believer <clears throat> in the gospel and Yeshua or Jesus. I celebrate the Lord's Passover. I also celebrate the feast of the first fruits. When Yeshua rose from the dead in Christianity, it is called Easter. And he goes on, we must remember that Passover was called the Lord's Passover, just not the Jewish Passover. But you go on and on. I want you to get this book. This book has so much. I, I, I get on the show and I start reading books to people, you know. <laughs> but uh, we're, we're under God's judgment. We have mocked God. Mm -hmm. And God's, you know, his, his mercy is so amazing. But it only lasts so long. Yes. Mm -hmm. We must, must know this material, this book. And then you have it uh, on the DVD. the DVD also. And I haven't even opened mine yet. Which we have a trailer, I've opened the book, the though. You I've have opened a trailer the book. of the DVD. I have a trailer. Can I show the trailer? Yeah, just do it right. You, do you have it ready now? I got it ready right now. Wait till you guys see this. Watch this. It says uh, to us Christians that how we see through a glass darkly, we only know in part. Uh, well, I understood that. But what happens, I read Romans 11. And in Romans 11, it says that the Jews were only blinded in part. So all of a sudden, I realized, oh my gosh, we're partially blinded. The Jews are partially blinded. 
And the first group to humble themselves and look out of the other lens gets to see the clearer picture. So I started studying the feast from a Jewish perspective. And oh my goodness, does it really open things up? It's a paradigm shift. It really is. All of a sudden, you're reading the Bible in full color 3D, uh, not just black and white text. It's, it's not a separate book. It's almost like you should tear out that middle page between the Old and the New Testament and, and realize uh, that we're all connected. The Lord truly is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Just as the spring feasts of the Lord were fulfilled to the very day, to the very hour of His first coming, you now understand the Lord will fulfill the fall feast to the day of his second coming. God has his own day timer, his own schedule, and he does want to make an appointment with you. He said, these are the days I want to meet with you. These are the times I want to meet with you, and he's written you in the schedule. Wow. Now, we always do deals. And, and I know you're with a major publishing company, and uh, we probably have a better deal than you can get anywhere else in the world, because that's what we <laughs> On do. On the package, that's right. That's what we do, the package deal. And so if you want to order these for a gift of $35, the material in this book is worth $35. The material in this book is worth a million dollars because it's, it's the word of the living God to help us to understand what does the Bible say. But uh, we just have a few of these in stock, and they're, they're coming. They're, this, they're off the press because we've got a few of them here today. You know, let me read this. For example, in 2016, Easter fell on Sunday, March 27th. But the Passover was a month later on Friday, April 22nd. How could Christians celebrate his resurrection a month before his crucifixion? That's how screwed up we, what we've done. Because we're so smart. Oh, boy. We're so smart. Look at the mess America's in. Oh, just forgive me. <laughs> you need this book. Yes, you do. And I, and I promise you, I'm going to stop offering books unless they're great. They have to be really great. And I got so many great guests coming up, I don't even know what I'm going to do. Coming soon to Morningside in the Jim Baker Show. We're honored to have Paula White with us on the Jim Baker Show. Tuesday, August 15th, Mike Bickle of the International House of Prayer will join us Thursday, August 17th. Evangelist Alveda King will be back with us Tuesday, August 22nd. Author of God Minute for Good, R.T. Kendall, will be here to introduce his new book Thursday, August 24th. Author and prophet Rick Joyner will be sharing a powerful word on Tuesday, August 29th. Doug Weed will be with us Thursday, August 31st. Rabbi Jonathan Kahn will introduce his new book, The Paradigm, Wednesday, September 6th, and Thursday, September 7th. Former Congressman Michelle Bachman will make her first appearance on The Jim Baker Show, Tuesday, September 12th. Lieutenant Colonel Robert McGinnis, Carl Gallops, and Tom Horn will return Monday, September 28th. Join us every night at 7 p.m. for The Prophet Speak, a night filled with worship and ministry. For our full schedule, go online to jimbakershow.com. We can't wait for you to see what God's doing here at Morningside. So then you get the video. What's in the video, Mark? Is it, is, is it the parts of the book like in there? Parts of the book, but there's so much more that's on the video than you could get out of the book. Uh, we even give shots of our Passover Seder we do with 1,500 people. Wow. And uh, we have one of the world's largest Passover Seders every year. We need to come to that. Wow. Yeah. You even, on the DVD, you even Wouldn't explain. it be fun to bring our cameras? Could, I, would you allow cameras in there? Sure. Wouldn't that be amazing? I would love to sign up and go with you. Yes. Yeah. Well, our new our network is growing, and it's going to be doing live things, and we're getting ready to uh, open a new part of our s new studio, yeah. and the the, the faith-based network of shopping and all. But it's going That's to right. be where you preach and pray, and That's it. people will be together 24 hours it, a day. It's, a, it's the only network of its kind in the world. Bring Pastor back and explain to us the calendar alone. That right there. And you talk about it on your DVD. It's explaining the and knowing the importance of this calendar. You know, I love your book because your book explains three different calendars. God's calendar, 
the Islamic calendar and then the pagan calendar. And you teach us there how we've been going about it so wrong mm -hmm. and through this teachings of the DVD, which I love visuals, and you show visually why we must understand God's calendar. Mm -hmm. So for $35, they're going to get the new calendar mm -hmm. that you'll have for the next year. That's from 2017 to 2018. Mm -hmm. It's a 16-month calendar. Okay. <laughs> and so for a gift of $35, yes. you're getting all three of these and they're ready to go and you really 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 this is something if you want to be in the know if you want to know what God is saying and how he's saying it we need to get on God's calendar that's it yeah Amen. doesn't that make sense we ought to be on God's word on his calendar because these things are going to happen I'm telling you you know everything is important that's why these books are so great now, what's God telling you about the White House? Because there, a while, a few days ago, there was a a, a, a rainbow, rainbow, double, double rainbow. rainbow over the White House. Well, I, th I believe a rainbow speaks of God's covenant. And over the White House, I think God is telling America he's in covenant with us. Wow. Which is all the more reason why we need to pray. I think God is telling he's in covenant with us. That's why it's over the White House. I think it's as a nation. It represents the nation. And God is saying he's in covenant with us. And it's so important for us then to heed the warning and to repent. That's why we also have the solar eclipse coming across. Because God wants this. He's not willing that any should perish. That's right. You said it means that God wants to be in covenant with our White House. And we should be praying for our White House instead of cursing it. We, America is cursing. They're cursing each other. They're cursing our president. Here's the thing. Do you know when I went to prison, when I was in the courthouse, they were sentencing me to spend the rest of my life in prison. Wow. But over that courthouse was a rainbow. The whole time. All the time they, the judge was sentencing me. I didn't know it, Sue. And radio stations, with the, and, and I read about it doing the research for my book mm -hmm. <laughs> That's right. I was wrong book mm -hmm. and and these announcers and, and they made fun of me they mocked me and so when they saw that that rainbow here's what they did they went ooh, ooh, ooh like you know I'm not doing it very good <laughs> but, <laughs> but like how like oh it's a weird it's out of space it's something yeah. weird you know what I'm saying yeah. mocking it but if somebody would just have told me God put a rainbow over the courthouse saying he wasn't going to break his covenant with me. Mm. Mm. And he never broke his covenant with me. I'll, I'll tell you, you can learn so much with God's day timer. Yeah. You need to get this today. Mm -hmm. And you need to, you know, we don't make the money to run our ministry from books. We just can't. We, we don't make enough. This is because you need it. Yes. This will help a little, but it's not going to help like we need. When you order food, that helps a lot more. When you order, you know, like seven years of food, that helps because a piece of that then goes to support the ministry. But it's time to be ready. That's the key. Because it's scary what's going on. Many of you are familiar with uh, 1 Chronicles 12.32, where it talks about the children of Issachar who had an understanding of the times. Yes. They were on God's calendar. They knew what Israel ought to do. So my question to all of you is, what time is it? Mm -hmm. Do we know what time it is right now? Well, let me give you a good example. This is from Haggai, chapter 1, verse 1 through 4. And it was in the second year of King Darius, uh, Darius, and listen to this. It was in the sixth month, the first day of the month. Do you know when that is? When? The first day of the law. The same day Moses went up to the mount. The same day Yeshua went into the wilderness. The same day Jonah told everyone to repent. The month of the law, it's on the month of repentance. This is the time when the eclipse comes across America, guys. Wow. Now, look at this. It was in the sixth month, the first day of the month, the first of the law, that the word of the Lord came by Haggai the prophet to Zerubbabel, who was the governor of Judah, and to Joshua, who was the son of Jehoshadak the high priest. And listen to what the Lord said 
on the first of Elul, he said this. These people, and he's referring to his own people, these people say the time hasn't come. The time has not arrived for the Lord's house to be built. And then the word of the Lord by Haggai came saying, look, is it time for you to dwell in your own panel houses while this house lies waste? What is this telling us? On the first of a lull is when God speaks to his people saying, you don't know what time it is. Hmm. God is asking his people on the first of a lull again with this solar eclipse telling us we need to be able to tell time that this is the time that is coming. We need to be aware of God's calendar. You said something to, to me earlier, and it's about the Feast of the Trumpets and the International Day of Peace. Okay. This is so shocking, <laughs> and, and we're running out of time. So okay, I can one. say this quickly. You'll be back tomorrow, okay. right? Okay, yep. Before yep. God, amen. He's you got to hear this. you got to hear now, this. this, this let, let, hold on. You want to hear this. Mm -hmm. Do you, Are you ready? It's crazy. This, it is crazy. This is insanity almost. It's so crazy. But this is calendar stuff. This is what he's trying to teach us. That's right. It's God's calendar. Yes. Why haven't we paid more attention to what God says? Mm. He bases time in time in history. Wow. What in the world is wrong with us? <laughs> I'm telling you people, we better get on God's side soon. Could you tell us that? As we leave? Okay, sure. Before Are you ready on. for this? Yeah. Yes. Every year, the UN has International Peace Day, mm. all right? It was always held like on the second Tuesday of September. But in 2001, that day was 9-11. <gasps> That's why it was canceled. And instead, in 2001, it was held on September 21st. Well, I guess they wanted... Wait a minute. <laughs> oh, now just, That's yeah, big. I didn't I, know well, that no, part. Oh, just wait. No, just, That's 9-11? Well, 9-11 is when the International Peace Day was supposed to have happened in 2001. Yeah. But because of the terrorist yeah. bombing, it was postponed to September 21st. Yeah. Now, they did it That's shocking, one. though. We, well, yeah. That they, means it's a God day. Exactly. Exactly. Oh, my God. Now, People, uh, this isn't even the oh. what we're going to tell you. <laughs> now. If you think that one's big. Oh, wait to hear what's coming. Okay, so what did they do? Uh, obviously, they didn't think the United States would ever want to have 9-11 fall again on that day. So in 2001, they changed the date. 9-11 <laughs> fall on Peace Day. Yeah. That's, I think the terrorists purposely did that on the International Peace Day. So what happens, they decided we're going to make it September 21st. That way we'll know it'll never fall on 9-11 again. And so in 2001, it was fixed for September 21st. All right. Since 2001, it's been 17 years or 16 years. This has never happened till this year. This year, September 21, is Rosh Hashanah, the Feast of Trumpets. The big one. Okay. Again, <laughs> this is huge. But what is even more amazing than, is get a load of this. Every year, they pick a theme for that year. Uh, for one year, it was called, in 2014, the theme was the right to peace. Mm. In 2015, it was partners for peace. In 2016, it was building blocks for peace. Guess what it is this year when it so happens to fall on Rosh Hashanah, the theme is peace and safety. Wow. All the students are going, oh, my Lord. <laughs> that is the theme for the, it's, uh, Go and look. You can look it up yourself. It's peace, dignity, and safety and respect for all. That is the theme. To have peace and safety be the theme this year when it falls for the first time on Rosh Hashanah. And then it says, then sudden destruction comes. And here we have the super volcano, Korea, all these possibilities of different things going on. But this is why you want to be on God's daytimer so you can make the connections of what's happening in the Bible with when it happens on our calendar. What does God say? Peace and safety and then sudden, sudden destruction. The revelation, the revelation is all about suddenly. Yes. It's suddenly. And I'm, 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 I'm sorry, but I'm going, <laughs> I'm going to start teaching revelation soon. Let's do it. I'm booked up with all these amazing guests, but I've I got to have a day for myself so I can we'll teach revelation. Because 
This is God's word. And this calendar is God's calendar. I'll tell you what. Why don't you just order this? Mm -hmm. It would take me years or, or at least months to do mm -hmm. all this on TV and read this whole book to you mm -hmm. and keep teaching you. But you can get this set today for $35. Now, if you just want the God's uh, Daytimer book, you can get that for $15. The DVD, you can get that for uh, $20. Yes. And you can get the uh, calendar... These, these calendars are so hard to get. Yes. They are. They're so hard to get. They're so important. It's almost, I feel like it's a made in heaven calendar. I mean, you know, I don't know who prints it, but I mean, it, it's God's. When I got a, can you imagine? I don't even know how it got there. Somebody sent me, give me one. <laughs> Somebody sent me the Jewish calendar while I was in the prison. Yes. I lear, I, this was one year of my college right there that I learned in the prison. It's amazing. I began to see the harmony yes. of God's teaching. The harmony of what God said. When he spoke it, it happened. And it kept happening. It kept happening. It kept happening. And now we've got the UN, is it right? Yes. Announcing this, the peace and... International Peace International Day. Peace and Safety Day. On Rosh Hashanah. Peace and on Rosh Hashanah. Rosh Hashanah. So that, that, that just that seals it. Yeah. Rocks your world. And then... It, uh, we don't even do no, need to do another show today. We just this this is powerful, people. It really is. And I'll tell you what, you people that are mocking the prophets, uh oh, you better be careful, mm -hmm. because God's raised up the prophets to warn us and to teach us. And when you touch mine anointed, mm. He said, "Don't touch mine anointed. Don't do my prophets no harm." I'm telling you, the church better wake up. God's going to judge the church. First, judgment begins at the house of the Lord. And I'm telling you, people, if you don't know we're in the last days, mm -hmm. you're so deceived. You're, you, you, you better find out where we are. And this material if is we, so powerful. We got a better offer, a three for two Jewish calendar mm -hmm. offer right now for a donation of $30. That is $10 for each. These would be great gifts to anybody. Oh, yeah. Anybody... If your pastor, give one to your pastor. Yeah. He will Great. probably hug you yeah. and just say, thank you, thank you, thank you. Because he can't find them everywhere because they're just not everywhere. No. They're very, very difficult to find. It's beautiful. It has great pictures on it. Yes. And, but I'll, it's the teaching and the writings and then getting you on our calendar of America's calendar. Get it on God's days, God's calendar, okay? Wow. We're, we're going to have a great next show. Don't miss. That will be tomorrow. Yes. Yes. So don't miss. And order this now. Yes. Order it now. You won't do it. Mm -hmm. You'll put it off. And and first come, first serve. We we sell out of books. This thing, I'm, I'm telling you, I hope WND has a lot of books mm -hmm. because we sell out. This ministry, I've been told... That we are the number one seller of Christian books yeah. in the world for any show, any any ministry. So that's amazing. So I'm I'm believing God because this this the church needs to get down to business. That's right. Let's find out w what God's saying. Let's find out where Amen. God lives, and let's live with God. Let's live in His Word. So order them right now. Go to 1-888-988-1588 is our number. It's toll free. You can go to the JimBakerShow.com on the internet and all of our product. And I'm telling you, if you're not ready, what I heard on the other end of my phone today, you better get some food stored. Developing fears of Yellowstone super volcano about to blow after 1,400 earthquakes. I didn't write that. This is a news headline today. Yeah. If that happens, there will be no more food growing. This will wipe out all the food. You know what, people, if this kind of thing goes, and I know they're going to happen. I believe there's going to be great earthquakes in California 
And I don't know when, but I know they're coming because God has shown me over and over and over again. But we're, here's this Yellowstone. It's the mega super volcano, probably of, of all volcanoes. And we've had 1,400 earthquakes over the volcano in about three weeks. I think it's been, John, do you remember? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Is that about right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And uh, they're saying it, these earthquakes can go on for a long time. I don't have time to go into it, but I've worked on this for so long. If this, if this one goes off, millions will die within hours. Just breathing the air over the America and, and, and the whole earth will have nuclear winter. And over the whole earth, the sun and the moon will go dark. And that's going to be a major sign that we really are in the last of the last days. We're in the harvest time. It's going to be the great soul winning time. How are we going to win souls if we're not prepared, if we don't have food, if we're dying? We're really in the last days, people. What's going on in North Korea? They have a leader in North Korea that he doesn't care. I think... He would sacrifice himself and his nation Mm -hmm. to destroy the United States of America. We better get ready. Mm -hmm. The time is here. You need to know the word. And I I do hope that you'll order uh, this God's daytime offer. Thank you for having that back. Hey, thank you. I love that calendar. That's one of my favorite things. We have to go. Don't miss. Mark, you'll be back, right? I'll be back. Mark Bills will be back. He's got so much more. And I pray for you. I pray for my wife, Lori. I pray for Grandma Shar. And I pray for you as we agree together for your health and healing and that you will be ready. The King of Kings is coming. Don't laugh at the signs. Don't laugh at what you, God's going to bring you and show you in the sun and the moon and the stars. God loves you, and he warns you with his signs. Order this book deal today. It's going to help you. You've got to be ready. How are you going to tell people what's going on if you haven't studied it at all? You need to get this book offered today, the the tapes, the book, and the great calendar, the 70-year anniversary of the great Israel. (laughs) God loves you. He really does. Thank you so much. Thank you for watching today's broadcast. To help support the ministry, call 1-888-988-1588. Again, that toll-free number is 1-888-988-1588. You can also write Pastor Jim at P.O. Box 7330, Branson, Missouri, 65615. All the products you loved on today's show, along with today's episode and news, are available at jimbakershow.com. Thank you so much for your prayers and donations. You are the reason we can continue to broadcast the gospel of Jesus around the world.